and welcome to Elvatex channel. Today we will explore the crucial role of food analysis in ensuring the safety and quality of what we are eating and how XRF analyzers are revolutionizing this field. In our modern world, the quality and safety of food are paramount to public health. With the advancement of technology and the globalization of the market, maintaining food quality has become even more crucial. Particular attention is given to the presence of chemical elements in the food, such as heavy metals and toxic substances. These elements can have adverse effect on consumers' health, especially vulnerable groups like children and pregnant women. Food analysis is essential to ensure that food products meet established standards and regulations. Consumers need to be confident that the food they consume is safe and complies with legal limits of harmful substances. X-ray fluorescence analysis, or XRF, is a powerful method that determines the elemental composition of various materials, including food. Elvatec has been a leader in the analytical equipment market for many years. We produce both handheld and benchtop analyzers that enable accurate and reliable analysis of food products. Our flagship handheld analyzer, Prospector 3, provides high measurement accuracy and ease of use, making it ideal for on-site analysis. For laboratory setting, we offer benchtop analyzers such as the Elvax Pro, equipped with the 16-position carousel. This equipment is perfect for high-precision analysis in lab environments, ensuring maximum efficiency when analyzing large numbers of samples. XRF allows high-precision and rapid determination of the concentrations of various chemical elements in samples. This method is based on measuring the fluorescent radiation emitted by atoms when exposed to X-ray. XRF analyzers are widely used for food analysis. They enable quick and accurate determinations of heavy metals and other chemical elements in food products. The advantages of using XRF for food analysis include high accuracy, speed, and ability to perform non-destructive testing. European legislation strictly regulates the presence of chemical elements in food products. Regulation of 2023-950 by European Union sets maximum levels of contamination such as lead, cadmium, and mercury. For example, Maximum levels for lead in various products range from 0.02 mg per kilogram to 0.3 mg per kilogram, depending on the type of the product. In the United States, the control of chemical elements in food is regulated by several agencies. The Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, sets acceptable level of for pesticides and heavy metals. The Food and Drug Administration FDA, monitors the level of chemical contaminations and ensures compliance through monitoring programs. For instance, the United States has strict standards for presence of lead and cadmium in food products, similar to European requirements. XRF analyzers allow for determination of heavy metals in food products in accordance with the European and American standards. They also help monitor the quality of mineral content and detect contaminations and impurities. The use of XRF analyzers offers speed and efficiency in analysis, eliminates the need for complex sample preparation, ensures high accuracy and reproducibility of results, and allows for non-destructive testing. For example, our analyzers are used to check for heavy metals such as lead and cadmium in compliance with European Union and United States regulation. I will show you how easy it is to do. Alright, so let's move on to the experimental part. 
And first thing we need to do after we turn on the device, we need just to find the food product calibration. So we can scroll to it. Here it is. Just press on it and then we can set the duration for our analysis. Um, usually we recommend to set it between 30 and 40 seconds, but for fast screening, as we're gonna proceed right now, uh, 10 seconds gonna be enough. So let's select it for 10 seconds. And after the screening, if you will have any doubts, then you can perform the analysis from 30 to 40 seconds for more deeply detection of uh, needed elements. So we set it for 10 seconds. All right, we good. And now we have three different samples of food product, uh, which actually include rice, coffee and milk. Seems like we stole someone's breakfast. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the rice. And we just position it here. And we also have a camera to, you know, to make sure that we have the right, the exact measurement area. And let's press start for analysis. All right, and as we done with the analysis of rice, we have the result here that show us that this concentration of, it gives us a concentration of 34,000 uh, ppms for chlorine. Also, we have sulfur, uh, it's 24,000. Then it, uh, we got phosphorus for 17,000 ppm. And the next one is silicon. We have it for 14,500 ppm. Everything else goes below 10,000 ppm, so we're not gonna mention the result. Just include that it has aluminum, calcium, kalium, some concentration of ferrum, and some other elements. Right, as we done with this, uh, with this measurement, let's uh, start with the coffee. Here we go and starting to measure it. So for our analysis, we prepared already milk coffee. So it was grinded and it always better to do it instead of measure just in the beams, because as we already mentioned in the previous videos about the sample preparation, it always better to grind your sample uh, to get more accurate result. All right. And we performed already with the coffee analysis and now we have the clear result. And so what we have here is actually we have the big concentration of kalium is uh, what we have is 170,000 of ppm with the error only for 4,000 ppm. So it's a really big concentration here. Also, we have kali calcium. Uh, in amount of 12,100 ppm. Then we have chlorine, uh, 11,000 ppm. And everything else is just below 10,000, so we will not mention it. But just, we have some ferrominate, silicium, manganese, but it's all like, you know, in a low concentration. All right, and now we're gonna make a milk analysis. This is the only liquid we have for now. All right, we position it correctly and let's start it. And we have the result of our analysis. So let's take a closer look at what we have. And for us, it's showing that we have 16,100 ppm of silicon in milk sample. Then we have aluminum for 7,300 Actually, everything that goes below, uh, everything that goes after silicon, is just below 10,000. But we just gonna mention it as the, we have aluminum. Also, we have kalium in concentration of 6,100 ppm. Then we have calcium, it's almost 6,000. We have here 5,900. 5, and then it's just a little bit of ferrum, zinc and coprum. In addition, for heavy metals determination, 
XRF analyzers are also used to determine the mineral content in daily products and check for impurities in grades and cereals. Alvatex XRF analyzers provide reliable and efficient solution for food analysis, ensuring high accuracy and rapid results. If you need more information about our analyzers and their capabilities, you can contact our managers via the phone or email you see on the screen. Don't miss out our next reviews and interesting video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell to receive notifications of new videos. Also, don't forget to like this video so we know you enjoyed it. Stay tuned and see you soon.